Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'll show you a quick tip how to combine multiple scans into a single scan file in Wireless Workbench 6. One nice feature about Wireless Workbench is that you can both capture scans from networked Sure devices that are capable of scanning, as well as import files from Sure devices or other third-party scanners. Oftentimes, the case might be that you have different devices in different operational bands. Maybe some devices in the lower UHF band, like the G band, some devices in the higher 500 megahertz, like H or J band. And you want to take scans from those different bands of devices and combine them into a single file, maybe for sending to someone else who's going to do a frequency coordination, or even for record keeping purposes. Let me show you how this can be done with the help of Wireless Workbench. In the Frequency Coordination tab, I'm going to load some scan files into this area right here. So what I'll do is I will click this folder, and I've got three CSV scans from a TTI scanner uh, that were taken actually during the Pro Bowl game day, and uh, they are in three bands. They correspond to sure bands. I'm going to load this G1 scan, and you'll see my view adjust to show that scan. I'm also going to load the J5 and the L3. So these are three different scans taken uh, at three different times, and they cover a pretty broad range uh, from, let's see, we're getting from 470 to 698. So basically the entire UHF range without this little notch. Now these three scans are helpful, and with all three of them loaded, I could do coordinations uh, on my own right here, right within Wireless Workbench. But I actually want to send this to, uh, let's say, the game day coordinator or somebody else who wants to have the scan file for reference. What I can do is uh, save these three separate scan files and send them all around, or bounce them all into one single scan file. And that's what I'm going to show you today. This scan summaries section down at the bottom uh, of this left sidebar here, actually let me just drop this thing here that we can see a little bit easier. There we go. Uh, this peak hold here is a basically a scan overlay that when I check this box, you'll notice this red line appears. And what the red line is showing me is it's a peak hold of all of the scans that are loaded in this sidebar. So if I had different scans from live scanners or imported scans from like a Spectrum Manager or a PSM 1000 receiver, all of that would be captured the highest amplitude across the entire spectrum by this peak hold. And you'll see this is just a visual overlay. If I check or uncheck the box, um, that line is shown. I could also change the color if I'm feeling fancy. Let's go pink today. Um, but what matters is, what I can do is actually save what is the peak hold, which takes into consideration all of the scans here, into a separate file. And actually, this option is there on any of these scan files, but doing it on the peak hold, if I right-click here, then I get a context menu, and I can choose to save this as a scan file. So what I'll call this is the Pro Bowl uh, Master Scan. And what this will do is save that particular file uh, as one entity that takes into account all of these scans. Now, if there are multiple scans that overlap the same range, the peak hold will only take the uh, highest amplitude at any given frequency, hence the, the name peak hold. But let me prove it to you. If I remove all these files, you'll notice the peak hold slowly uh, goes away, and I'll uncheck this. And now let me load that file that I just saved. There's the Pro Bowl master scan uh, that I just created, and you'll notice the exact same scan is preserved. So this is a really helpful way to take multiple scan files of varying formats, as long as they can be loaded into Workbench, and bouncing them into a single file that can be shared and distributed. Hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and let us know if you'd like to see different sorts of tutorials in the future. Thanks.